if this Ray movie ever gets made, and I have my doubts, because I I think they're gonna if if Lucasfilm keeps this self destructing, someone's gonna have to step in and be like, yo, we can't be you know tossing all this money. Uh, I think what they want to do with the Ray film is reinvent everything that has to do with the Jedi, and Ray will be in charge of it. She's gonna start the new order. Right. The new way of training, mm. the new way of Jedi. She's going to be the face of that, whatever they're going to call Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right? And uh, and and that way they'll have their way. Then they could go, OK, we finally reset the whole thing. I never thought about that. Now we can go right into it. And uh, we've got Ray at the helm. Yep. Uh, the witch is making babies if they need it. Uh, and so we're all set. And now we've got a whole new a whole new Star Wars that we can build upon for years to come. Like, I think that's, uh, I think that's where they're, I think that's where they're going to go. go I do have a, I I do have a rant about the acolyte and that meme that Gary posted about the, well, I carried them and I, I created them. That's not even the most insulting part of the show. They literally say when they're having this like presentation with the twins and then the, the black mom, um, that the Jedi, only have a partial understanding of what the force is. The force is the force to them, but really we are the ones who know the true power and have the true power of the force. And it's not the force, it's the thread. And the galaxy doesn't like women like us because we are lesbian and gay. And because we're lesbian, we actually have the full true understanding of what the force is and it's the thread. And only we get that power. And the Jedi, the Jedi don't understand. The Jedi are ignorant. They only have partial understanding, and that's why they call it the Force. Really, it's the thread, and we have it because we're fucking fabulous and lesbian. It's fucking insulting, man. It's bullshit. It is, and uh, um, it, it, you're you're just helping further Jay's point. Like, I I yeah. never thought about this, Jay. I think you're right on point. Everything they're saying is meant to to ultimately demonize the Jedi in such a way. That Ray into the future can actually make it right. Like we can fix it. Yeah. Well, Ray you remember the in the last going Jedi. to fix the yeah. Jedi. Not, but yeah. You remember in the last Jedi, Kylo Ren was like, "Hey, join me, Ray. Let's forget the Jedi. Let's forget the Sith. Let's just do our own thing. Let the past die. You know, kill it if you have to. Right? That was the that was the whole thing. So it it's it makes sense that they would they would move mm-hmm. forward um, with that, and then so the Skywalker story will just be, it'll be a side story to what Star Wars actually. It'll be is. null and void. They're gonna yeah. null it's, and void. It'll just be a it'll just be like a yep. like a like a side quest. Well, so here's so my prediction yesterday was uh or because I've been speculating, I'm going, how are all the how are all the witches just dead? Yeah. It doesn't so, make sense. Something doesn't add up. I think the Jedi had something to do with it, and I think that's what we're going to find out. We're well, going to find gonna out. Be, that's going to be why the one white Jedi master who was in that hibernation uh, with the shitty hairline and the shitty beard, that's why he was in hibernation, because he helped kill all of the the witches. That's mm-hmm. going to be his yeah, unforgivable yeah, yeah, yeah. sin or whatever, why he was meditating. He didn't want to kill himself. Torben, Torben, yeah. Torben, Torben. And, and that's why when uh, whoever, the, the other evil twin, when she gave him the poison, said, here you go, you can you can kill yourself this way. And he woke up and he was like, oh, I did. Uh, it was unforgivable. And then kills himself. Like, that's going to be why, because he killed all the witches and he's he's horrible now. And remember, Kathleen Kennedy quote if, if i'm i'm not gonna quote her but I'm, I'm almost positive she said when she read the script for the acolyte she cried she was crying yeah she cried yeah which means of course what it's like this is everything we need to destroy star yeah. wars forever yeah holy yeah. shit this I, is was, only going to get worse how crazy and worse would it be if like they her I, this is clearly speculation this is not true i'm making this up as i go how crazy would it be if, you know, Kennedy, Filoni, Iger, all of them sat down and go, hey, look, we got we got this vision, but it's going to hurt for a while. <laughs> mm-hmm. We got to destroy. We got to get away from Lucas stuff, man. And this is the only way we can do it. So just let us do it. OK, it'll it'll bounce back. It'll bounce back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. As George Lucas creator, may the force be with you. Mm. Kathleen Kennedy, Femis. the force is female. Leslie Headland, 
lesbian. The force is lesbian. <laughs> there it is right there, yep. man. Holy yep. shit. Puts it in perspective, doesn't it? Good and, lord. And you can now see the force because the, the the lesbian witches are so powerful with the force that they call the thread. You can actually physically see it. That's the first time they they had like purple purple smoke coming out of their hands when they were doing this whole ritual for the twins. And it's like, ah, oh, fuck. Here we go. Then now the force has color, and of course it's purple for these lesbians. Jeez. Uh, well, I think uh, I think the biggest question that a lot of people I, I think a few people are asking is um, we have Godzilla minus one with what was that? Fifteen million dollar budget yep. mm -hmm. and the Acolyte, a four hour movie with one hundred and eighty million plus budget. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. in the world? <laughs> Every episode of the Acolyte costs twice as much as Godzilla. Minus that, one. What, what what is going on over there? At money Lucasfilm, laundering, man. Where they spend so much money on stuff, you know. I mean, a lot of people pocket. say money laundering and stuff like that, but what are they? What are they laundering money from? Like what? Yeah. What? They're not making money on anything except the theme parks. And holy crap! You thought well, it was that, bad yesterday. What they're doing is they're the creators in in Lucasfilm. They're they're lining their wallet with the the, the well, shareholders. I mean, a lot of that stuff with, with the donors public. and the shareholders. Like th th it's all going through the back door, man, and they're probably in their back that, pocket. You want my honest opinion? I don't think they're that smart because a lot of that stuff has to be reported. I think they're that public. greedy. Greedy, maybe. Smart, no. That's why they I have all you. these fake jobs. They have all these fake <laughs> that, jobs. I, I, I give just, you that. They just make they put the money into their back pocket, and they're just deliberately stealing from the shareholders and the donors. It's wild, allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. allegedly, 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 Patrick well, Stewart's gay. Well, well, they like it's weird because they they all they all are putting their own kind of um, they're all putting their their own kind of spin in all of these projects. So like, and I didn't read the article, but like the what was it the showrunner for the boys the other day? Like he was mad because people like Homelander, and it's like, well, that's because you guys have went out of your way to try to make Homelander into Trump, and guess what? People like Trump. So now yeah. people like Homelander because you've made Homelander into Trump. And so now they're mad because people like Homelander. It's such a weird situation, man. Like, what is up?